Yes, no one can stop talking about the Will Smith Chris Rock incident at the Oscars, but what did Chris Rock do? He made a joke about Acton Smith's wife Jada Pinkett Smith's bald head. Jada Pinkett Smith has publicly spoken about her trial with alopecia, a medical condition. We condone any act of violence. So while the slap is resonating around the world in headlines and memes, let's address what has largely been ignored: alopecia. The condition of hair loss is called alopecia. There are different types of alopecia with the amount of hair loss differing for everyone. The most common is androgenetic alopecia which is basically male pattern baldness in men, mostly thinning of hair for women with age. Will Smith's wife has a type of alopecia which is called alopecia areata. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disorder. Autoimmune disorder means your immune system mistakenly attacks your body. In this case, hair follicles. This particular type of alopecia most often results in hair loss in patches, with the first sign often being an oval bald patch on the scalp. The patches of hair loss can grow larger. It can cause a band-like hair loss on the scalp to widespread hair loss to even impacting eyelashes, eyebrows and beard. The causes can range from genetics that is someone from your family has it to other medical conditions causing it such as asthma, thyroid, viral infections, trauma, hormonal changes. Interestingly, alopecia areata can impact both men and women of any age, but there is a lot more focus on women as significant hair fall in women is not something that is normalized and accepted in society as yet. A doctor points out it is okay to see a man lose hair, but not a woman. While there is no cure per se, it can be treated with several options such as drugs for autoimmune diseases, steroids, topical immunotherapy, and even the drug minoxidil, which is quite a popular drug to treat male pattern baldness. While treatments are available, doctors point out the success rate differs. For example, sometimes hair won't grow back, sometimes it can grow back and fall out again, and sometimes there is a full recovery, that is, regrowth of hair. It is not a serious medical condition and neither does it cause physical pain but hair like the skin is tangible and a visible part of the body hence physical changes such as hair loss mostly does impact the mental state of the patient point out doctors the condition can cause depression and anxiety especially at the onset of the condition these mental conditions can be higher in women due to reasons mentioned above such as hair loss in women not yet being socially acceptable Besides medical treatments, today people can use wigs, hair pieces, topical treatments and science is progressing every day. But doctors point out the urgent need for hair loss in especially women to be accepted and normalized in society.